Hey guys, this is Oasis back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can use Heroku to test your Node or Express project in the cloud. So Heroku is a platform where you can test your backend projects. For example, if you have built a Node.js API, uh, you can test it on Heroku. Heroku offers some paid plans as well. And don't worry, they're not sponsoring me at all. It's just I want to show you how you can create an app within Heroku and test it. So here we have a free plan. This is what we're going to use. It offers 512 megabyte RAM, one website and one worker. So I'm just going to close this. And first of all, what you need to do is you need to sign up for Heroku, which is free. So I've already signed up. So I'm just going to log in to my account in Heroku. So I'm just going to click on login. And after I log in, I get to this page where I can see all my apps are running on Heroku. So I created this project mean registration and I created a course for that. So if you want to, if you want to know how to create advanced uh, registration system using a mean stack, MongoDB, Node.js, Express and Angular, then look at the description. I'll drop a link of that course inside a description of this video. So what we want to do here, we want to create a new app and we want to upload that app to Heroku and see if that's running. So the project I got is this one. This is a backend uh, API uh, for my front end project, which I created in that course. So we're gonna try uploading this to Heroku. So first of all, we will cl click on new, create new app, we name our app. So I'm just gonna say, well, testing second app for free. And let's see if it's available or not. Yep, this is available. Testing second app for free. And we're going to leave a region as United States. We click on create app. And after that, it will take us to the deploy page where it gives us information how we can deploy on Heroku. So quickly, we're going to right jump into how we can deploy. First of all, you need to install Heroku CLI. So link to get to that, we click on Heroku CLI. Let me open that in a new tab and I'll get there. So here, if you're using uh, Mac, click here, Windows, click here, Linux, you can install that through curl. Uh, so I've already installed a Heroku CLI in my PC. But if you click on that, it's going to start downloading and it's simply just double clicking on that exe file and it will install. Just follow the prompt, guys. So once you install, uh, once you're done with installing your Heroku CLI, we'll make sure we will uh, get inside the project folder. So my project is in G Drive. And after you sign up, you need to know your username and password. So I'll say Heroku login. It's going to ask me, what is your email for Heroku? So my email is, and then I'm going to type the password. Now it's going to show me a message saying if I've successfully logged in, or say it says logged in as oasemirza at gmail.com. That's right. Then it's asking me to get inside the project folder, which I'm already there. We're going to go git init. So git init. And we make sure that we have uh, our project as git initialized. Then we basically say if we have uh, anything to commit, well, it we don't really need to commit anything. So we're going to skip this part, git init. And then the next thing we're going to type Heroku git colon remote dash a. And we can simply say test just the name of your app you created on Heroku. So that would be testing second app for free. Press enter and it's going to add that remote to your Git project. So your project is going to have that remote set to Heroku. So now once we've done that, then we basically make sure we can add everything. If you're familiar with Git, then you know Git add all. Basically, we'll grab all the files and uh, add add to the Git repository to commit. So we, we have basically everything uh, up to date. So we simply want to type this command, git push Heroku master. 
Now it's gonna grab my project and just upload that to Heroku. And after that, for existing resources, we have some information here as well. It's basically building dependency, installing node module packet. So it's gonna read the package.json, install all your dependency from your package.json. It's gonna do all its work and it's gonna get your app up and running. Now our app is running on https git.heroku. So we are going to find, okay, so this is the URL guys, not that one. So this is the URL. So I'm just gonna copy that URL. We're gonna go to the browser. I'm gonna paste that and I'm gonna press enter. Now, because I developed this API, so I know one of the endpoint of this. So as you can see, I just created this test second app for free on herukuapp.com. And if I tap slash users, that should give me all the users sitting in my database, which is sitting on the MLab. So right now we can see our API is working perfectly fine. Our uh, Heroku free project is all good. So this is how you can upload your Node Express APIs project or any kind of a Node Express application. You can run it on Heroku. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.